Senator Deirdre de Burka, you're very welcome and thank you for doing this interview. You are a Senator and member of the Green Party and you're running for election for the European Parliament on June the 5th in the Dublin constituency. With such a large constituency and so many issues involved, how do you manage to communicate the potential role of an MEP? It's a very, you know, a real challenge to try and do that because most people understand very little about the European Parliament and they're very disengaged from Europe generally. Mm -hmm. So I try and link what's happening at a European level with the big domestic issues of the day. And at the moment, it's job creation, unemployment, the economy. And so I try to make people clear how being a member of a political grouping like the European Green Party will actually help to address the issue of job creation in Ireland. Which three decisions by the European Parliament in the last five years do you think were most important? I think it's made several very important decisions. One was mm -hmm. to amend the services directive, which was very controversial and would have seen workers from you know, Eastern European states being able to work in more developed member states at uh, much lower rates than uh, unions had, had uh, negotiated for that particular member state. So I think it was a very progressive thing, a very pro-worker um, development. Mm -hmm. uh, something else the European Parliament did was to refuse to uh, approve uh, Buttiglioni as a, a commissioner okay. and had him replaced. I thought that was a very progressive thing because he yeah. clearly wasn't suited to his portfolio. Yeah. And uh, another one, I suppose, was um, the REACH directive, the, which is to sort of uh, uh, control and 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 uh, regulate the chemical uh, industry, and particularly mm. with the view to sort of consumer health and safety and so on. So I think yeah. all of these uh, measures were very important ones the European Parliament was involved in. Great, thank you. What are your three policy goals if you are elected MEP? The first one <laughs> is jobs, uh, okay. basically bringing thousands of green jobs back to Dublin okay. um, through pushing very strongly for a Green New Deal at a European level, okay. uh, an economic stimulus programme that would be European wide, focusing on developing the green economy in Europe. Uh, the second big issue for me would be bringing Europe closer to the people. So using my role as an MEP to make Europe much more accessible to mm -hmm. people, to help them to understand it, and also to start pushing for much more democratic engagement because mm -hmm. Europe is too remote from people at the moment. And then the third thing is transparency. I want to, I will publish and have pledged to publish all my expenses, allowances, okay. salary, voting record, attendance record on my website. And I'd like to bring much greater transparency to the role of the MEP but also to the uh, lobbyists. The, mm. I would like to see the mandatory registration of lobbyists in Brussels okay. and I will certainly push very hard with the European Greens to make sure that happens. Okay, thank you. Um, the European Parliament has a role in the nomination for the President of the European Commission. It looks like Barroso is set to be reappointed. If elected to the European Parliament, would you support uh, Barroso or somebody else? I would prefer to support an alternative candidate okay. to um, Barroso because I think uh, Barroso has been seen very much as supportive of the kind of uh, economic policies and economic direction that I think has led the economies of the European Union into the difficulties they're in at the moment. Mm -hmm. He is seen as a centre-right uh, okay. appointment and um, certainly the European Green Party has been trying to form alliances with other political mm. groupings to look for an alternative, a substitute uh, nomination for the position of president. So okay. if it comes to it, if, if he's the only nominee, I certainly would support him, but I would prefer to see an alternative. OK, thank you. Um, and finally, can you tell us in 30 seconds why people should vote for you? Because I'll bring thousands of new green jobs to Dublin. OK, great. Thank you very much, Senator Burke. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.